Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating admin and user authentication. For authentication, here I am going to use Laravel UI package. I have already installed the Laravel UI package in my previous video. Now let's customize this. So first of all, open the user migration. So go to the project directory and just go inside the database folder and then migration and from here let's open create user table migration this one and inside this uh, let's add here inside this users table schema uh, let's add here one more column for user type okay so let's add here table and data type which is a string and let's add here the column name u type okay for user type and also set here the default value default value which is user usr for user okay and also set here the comment and inside this comment just write here a text adm for admin and uh, usr for normal user or customer okay and just add in the semicolon now save this file and uh, let's uh, refresh the migration so go to the command prompt and here just on the command php artisan migrate colon refresh okay now hit enter okay all migration will be created now just clear the screen now here let's create a middleware for the admin okay so for creating the middleware uh, let's run the command php artisan make colon middleware a space middleware name uh, let's say middleware name is auth admin okay now hit enter middleware created inside the app http middleware folder okay you can see here the middleware folder and file name is auth admin dot php okay now let's open this auth admin middleware file so go to the project and uh, inside the app directory go to the uh, http middleware and from here let's open this one auth admin dot php and now inside this middleware let's add here the if directive and check if user is authenticated or not so for that just add here the auth okay and also import here the auth like this illuminate support facades auth and then add here the check method if user is authenticated then uh, let's check for the admin so right here if auth colon colon user and access the u type property uh, column u type and check for the value admin adm if user is admin then uh, let's cut this this return and paste inside this if directory if uh, statement okay and otherwise if user is not admin then add here the else and uh, first of all just just clear the session so right here session session and this one okay and uh, column column plus method it will clear all the session and then redirect to the login page okay return redirect route and route name is login and now let's copy this line and if user is not authenticated then simply redirect to the login page okay now save this middleware and now go to the controller folder and then auth and from this folder let's open uh, this controller one by one so just open this one first and from here 
inside the redirected to just uh, remove this home and only add here the forward slash okay similarly inside this controller login controller just remove this inside the re register controller also remove this home and uh, also from here and save all the file all right i'll just collapse this and now uh, let's create two controller one for the user and another for the admin so go to the command prompt and uh, for creating the controller uh, let's run the command php artisan make colon controller a space controller name uh, let's say controller name is user controller okay now hit enter now create the controller for the admin so right here php artisan make colon controller a space controller name which is admin controller okay uh, this two controller has been created now uh, let's open the controller so go to the app http controller folder and from here let's open user controller and inside this class uh, let's add here a function first add in the public then function and function name let's say function name is index and inside this function simply return our view okay uh, let's say view name is index so right here index and uh, now let's copy this now open the admin controller and inside this class just paste here okay now let's uh, create this view so go to the resources directory and then views and first of all uh, here let's create two folder one folder for user so right here user and another for the admin so right here admin and now inside the admin folder let's create a new view file so right here index.blade.php and uh, inside the user folder also create a new file index.blade.php okay now here inside the index uh, admin index view file just add here the layout so for that use the extend directive so right here at the rate extends and layout name which is app okay this, uh, this is the app layout name so simply put here the app and before uh, adding this app also add here the folder name so add here layouts dot app and now add the section as section name contained and now just close this in uh, sections right here in section and now inside this uh, section block I'll just add here a text inside the h1 tag simply add here a text admin dashboard okay now let's copy this and go to the user index view file and paste here and change here the text the user dashboard all right and now uh, here inside the user controller and the folder name which is user dot index okay this is the folder name and this is the view name similarly on on the admin controller here also add the admin dot index and now uh, let's create uh, a route for this function so go to the routes folder and let's open the web.php file and here uh, let's create the route uh, first of all uh, let's create the group of the user route and uh, uh, also create the another group for the admin so for that just write here route and uh, and here the middleware and set the middleware which is path for the user okay and then create the group group 
okay and uh, then inside this group just add here the callback function okay and now inside this group uh, let's create a route for the user okay this is the group for the user so right here route gate and URI so they add here the account dash this is the URI and now add here the controller name which is the user controller and also import here the user controller like this and then add the function name which is index and route name just write here the user dot index and now let's copy this and paste for the admin and also inside the middle pair just add here one more middle pair which is without the single quote or admin middle middleware okay and also import this or admin middleware like this and then add here the column column class okay now change the URI here simply add here admin uh, and controller name which is admin controller and also import here the admin controller and then method name which is index and route name just add here admin dot index okay now save this all right now go to the layout file so just go inside the resources directory views and layouts and then open app.blade.php file okay and inside the layout file uh, let's find this link okay login link so this is scroll, scroll the page and uh, let's find this okay you can see here this is the login link this list and this is the card link so before this login link uh, first of all let's check here user is authenticated or not so use here the at the rate guest guest directive if user is not logged in then uh, simply display here this login link and now change here the route name so double curly bracket route and route name is login okay if user is logged in so for that just add here the else part then uh, let's copy this tip and paste here okay and if user is logged in then uh, just add here the link for the admin okay so before user or admin dashboard page link uh, first of all just check here user is admin or user okay normal user so for checking this just add here uh, use here the ternary operator so inside the double curly bracket just add here auth user and then access the column u type if u type value is equal to adm it means user is admin then uh, simply display here uh, display here the admin dashboard link okay so right here route and pass the route name which is admin dot index okay otherwise if u type is not adm then uh, just add here the link for the normal user so pass here user dot index okay and now after this let's display here the logged in username so span and the class and class pr as 6x okay and uh, just close this span tag and inside this span tag just add a double curly bracket and then display the username so for that is trying to auth user and then call here the name okay now it's done save this 
and do one more thing or let's add here the home page link uh, inside this logo and also change here the link of home okay so let's find the home link this is the home so just select this press ctrl plus d all index.html selected now just write here double curly bracket route and add in the route name which is home dot uh, index okay you can check the route home page home dot index okay so that's right now save this file now it's done so let's check this let's switch to the browser uh, first of all run the application so right here php artisan serve and now it's running on local host 8000 now refresh the page okay now just click on this link you can see here the login page okay and I simply uh, for the register user just go to the uh, register link okay and uh, add here the name i'm just going to create here first admin user so write the name admin admin at the rate subsidemary.in password one two three four five six seven eight and home password okay and now just click on register okay user created and you can see here the admin okay now just uh, you can see here the admin uh, sorry user dashboard because by default value of u type is usr so let's change the u type value so go to the php my admin localhost php my admin and now just browse the table uh, database which is laravel 11 db okay now browse the user table and you can see here the user now change the default value uh, sorry new type value with adm okay now let's open this link in incognito so because there is no link for the logout okay so let's open the incognito window and open this link this time just enter the password admin username admin at the rate stop side immediate in and password one two three four five six seven eight now click on login and uh, it's not showing the admin dashboard okay so what is the reason next inspect okay i did the mistake uh, here this is the admin dashboard user dashboard okay okay the problem is i have not refreshed the page okay so just refresh the page and now just click on this thing and this time you can see here the admin dashboard okay now let's register one more user so just close this and one more time let's open the incognito windows and go to the url and now just click on this link this time let's register the normal user so right here register name user email user admitted sub site media password one two three four five six seven eight confirm password okay now just click on register all right you can see here the user okay now let's check one by one so just 
open the another incognito window now click on ok sorry first of close this one now open the private window now click on login click on login and then uh, let's enter the admin email id and password now click on login and if i click on this link you can see here the admin dashboard and now let's check the normal user so close this this time let's log in with normal user credential click on this thing and this time you can see here the user dashboard and if i want to access the admin url let's access and you can see here it will redirected me to the login page okay so in this way you can create admin and user authentication for the e-commerce project so that's all about creating admin and user authentication don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching